What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here coming at you from the beautiful city of Tyre, Lebanon, the fourth largest city in the country. And this is one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities on the planet. It is ancient. Today, what are we doing? Well, I'm gonna take you to explore the ancient ruins, the Hippodrome, and then we're gonna have lots and lots of food. Some famous sandwiches, some seafood. I'm excited, I'm pumped. Nico. Hey guys. Are you ready for this? Yeah, we're starting here from the land ruins. Here we have a Roman village, Roman bath. Roman gates and we have the largest uh, hippodrome, the largest Roman hippodrome, it's right here. Let's see it. This was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the year 1984. You can see lots of beautiful ruins. We have a gate here. These were old houses and right there as you can see that's some beautiful mosaics. Huge walls and right here we have an ancient tomb. Wow, what a huge tomb, right? Right there? Yeah, some ancient uh, Roman tombs plenty of them uh, around here in case you've never been to an ancient Roman city the main street in the center is called the Cardo Maximus it connects everybody right so these were old houses all over the place right That's just it. houses and then a yeah. graveyard uh, and there's the entrance for the Hippodrome a big gate so that like you feel like you're entering a stadium you need the big gate and so this city was built in two different places right so up here on the hill and then lower by the sea okay so basically here whenever they had like once a month an event a horse race people would come here they would like it's like the entrance they would place their bets and then they proceed after the gate they go left and they sit in the stands and watch they come back they collect their winnings this is like the event entrance so the hippodrome is not like where the gladiators would fight that's more amphitheaters more arenas theaters this is where the horses would race, okay? And whoa, look at this, man, look. Some massive stones for the Cardinal Maximus, still beautifully intact. We have huge columns, and we have this incredible gate. Wow, fixed it up a little bit. They kept it better, right? Because this was all covered at one point with grass, and then they uncovered everything. Yeah, of course, the, this needs uh, renovation, especially the big arcs. Every 20, 25 years, they need to to renovate the, 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 the stones especially the stands there there are, we can see we will see stands that are still from the from where the people used to sit to watch the horse race some of them are still left that's it huh the big arena yeah. wow look at that this is where the horses would race look yeah. huge area and that's the only thing that remains from the from yeah, like where they could bit, sit a bit here and a bit at the end okay the only remaining of the stadium this guy's walking up here in the stadium is the staircase where everybody would sit right sit here watch wow look at this the pillars Woo. It's huge wow from here you have epic views of everything right there we just watch the horse race right they just go in circles and race still have two other ones just like this at the very end they're still intact oh this is insane this is beautiful a must visit when you come to lebanon come on come on now you know when you come to lebanon you have to come down here to tire to see the hippodrome. All right, dude, let's go. Food? Yeah. Yalla, yalla. The beach, huh? Yeah, let's see. Have a quick look at the one of the longest public beaches in Lebanon. The best time to come here to get the full experience is during uh, late spring and summer because you have two great public beaches one big long sandy beach and another one full of rocks and sea turtles swimming underneath you like wow. sea turtles you can do kayaking canoeing you can eat fish it's not bad to come in winter but the best experience is in summer you're gonna see now the the long public beach well uh, usually here you have around 59 tents or some sort of food stands that they do fish fish food seafood and one of them is a bar actually and on, the, on my left here is the one of the biggest public beaches in Lebanon people come they swim they play volleyball beach volleyball it's one of the longest so unfortunately the past few weeks it has been raining a lot that's why it is flooded but that's where the seafood stands would be over here we have the longest beach and behind us we have the old town so let's go straight over there and let's eat some food I'm really hungry now we are hungry so let's hit the old town and see the food so this is Tyre Old Town. So you see to the left, we have the boardwalk, we have palm trees, and over here we have all the buildings, hotels, restaurants, residential. It reminds me of basically like anywhere you go along the Mediterranean Sea, Spain, Italy, France, you're gonna see towns like this, right? Very beautiful coastal towns. Yep. And that is it, right? Nice though, I like it. 
Right, and so all these buildings are roughly from the 70s and 60s, right? They look older. Mm-hmm. Probably in the 40s, 50s, most of them. And the old town, of course, dating back more than 300, 400 years. Just parked and now we're walking to the old town of Tyre. Uh, so we have a few different vendors here. We have a lot of seafood in the area. Obviously right there behind us is the port. And so, yeah, beautiful old town. Look at that, mmm, looks good. The baker's around here. Let's do some sandwiches. So there's a, there's a sandwich shop? One of the best sandwich places when I'm going, when I'm going to try something called fatayil. It's like uh, small pieces of meat that they cook them and they add the sauce. Let's see. Hello, my friend. Hi. All right, here we go, guys. I've got like minced lamb, some salt. Yeah, and uh, tarator. Tarator, so tahini. Tahini. Yeah. Tomatoes. Uh, nice. I'm going to have What's the tail? No, but yes. It's amazing. So it's different. It's a sausage one, right? Like yeah. chorizo, spicy sausage. Sujuk. Malahu sandwich. Yes. Okay, so beef sandwich. Oh, I can't wait to jump into this. Mmm. Oh, wow. Nice and salty. Mmm. So juicy from the minced meat. Mm hmm. Mmm. Tahini, too. Oh, yeah. Mmm. This is so delicious. Outer side, a little crispy. Inside, it's like a salad. Tahini is awesome. I really love it. Tarato is the best. Mm -hmm. The beef, man. I love the sandwich. And what's cool about it is that it's so light, it's small. You can have like two or three of these. Well, I mean, it's like literally in the kitchen. They were like, just eat it right here. Mm. This burrito? Dude, amazing. I can eat five of these. Uh -huh. On the go. Uh -huh. I love it. It's a little rough, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Dude, all the ingredients inside it. So many flavors, nice textures. Oh, yeah. What would you like to try more? You told me. We have the kidney, liver. I'll have some kidney, some liver. Kefta. Two kinds of sausage, spicy one and a mechanic. The same mechanic and super. The sushi here is great. Connie, he's like, no, you guys are eating everything. Oh, this is an amazing sandwich. A spicy sausage, right? Sujuk, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, so juicy. The sujuk with tahini. Great combination. Wow, man. Mm. This is incredible. But you know what I love about it? They're nice and light. They're not too big. Yeah. So you can have like three or four. Yep. Everyone here comes with just three, four, five, six. Mm. Mm. Fast, quick, and fast sandwich. Oh. I don't know what to tell you. It is amazing, and they're and they're cheap, right? Like they're not pork, not expensive. Per so it's like a dollar twenty cents per sandwich. Wow. I'll say the beef one was good, but the sujuk I think is better. Mmm. Mmm. Come to tire. Come to this place first. Eat a bunch of these. I might have another one. I might. Wow. Mmm, nice crunchy pickle. Oh, oh, the pita. Mm. Oh, that's a brain. Oh, guys, look at this. This brain. It just gave me a little taste. So, what did we add here? A little bit of everything, right? It's a little taste. Okay, ready? Sheep mm. brain. The best one is sheep brain. Salt, pepper, a little bit of spice, tahini. Mmm. My friend, this is the best one. Look at this, guys. Look at the brain right here. Look at the brain. Wow. My friend, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Now you guys know when you come to Tyre, you have to come here and get some food. <laughs> Too many good things. Yeah, right. I think the brain's the best. The moro. Moro. It depends. It depends. It's exotic, exotic, but it's really good. So again, fatayel, moro, sausage, kafta, uh, sausage, liver, kidney. So 
Six, seven variations. Yes. Awesome. Seven. Thank yeah, you, thank you. Yeah. And so the price is 30, so whatever that is right now. One point. Uh, it depends. It depends, right? The dollar price. I know, I know. He's not letting me pay though. Let me, let me pay you something, no, man. Of course no. Dude, too much, too much. Welcome, thank sir. you, thank you to your family. Thank you guys. Hey, right. thank you, thank Welcome. you. Thank you. Merci, merci. Chokran. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Now we have a full stomach. Let's walk a little bit. Let's digest. Let's walk in the old town of Tyre. Yes. Maybe a coffee somewhere around here? We this, can. this is beautiful. So, so these are like all shops, but a lot of jewelry shops, right? Yep. Love this clothing. What is this? This is traditional here? Never seen this in my life. Beautiful. Especially when it's cold, right? Yeah, if you want to stay at home, you can wear this and say <laughs> It's like a pajama? Yeah. And to an old town now? Yeah. It's like the old streets, huh? Yeah, a lot of the houses here are made from old sandstone. They renovate them. Every two, three years, they renovate the stone. Mm -hmm. Try to make it shiny. Yeah, like right here, it looks like an old wall right there, right? Oh wow, look at this. Beautiful, it looks like a church. Oh, this is a hotel. Look at this guy, we're walking into a hotel. Beautiful, with a courtyard. It's uh, an old house in the old town, and they turned it into a, a hotel, an auberge. Uh, let's check it. When I go into the hotel, you have to go through the staircase outside of this beautiful door. Look at this, incredible craftsmanship, right? And it's called Dar Camelia. Camelia Boutique Hotel. So I have to go up here? Up here is the reception. Hello. Hi. How are you doing good? I'm fine. What about you? Awesome, man. So this is the hotel. Boutique Hotel is gorgeous. I love it. How many rooms do we have here? Eight. Eight rooms? Yes. Okay. Authentic vibe. It's gorgeous. Wow, beautiful. So there's number four? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, let's go. Where's the seafood at? <laughs> yalla yalla, let's go. This old town reminds me of the city of Asila. Asila in uh, Morocco, northern Morocco, about uh, I think an hour and a half from Tangier. Very similar, right? White, you know, white colors everywhere. Beautiful sandstone. Very quiet, you know, beach town. It's very nice though. Just made out of the old town, and this is the port, right? So we have fishermen, a bunch of boats. You can just walk around here. As you can see, lots of fish restaurants. We're gonna go to one specific one for some seafood, right? Lebanese seafood, I haven't tried it yet. So what's Lebanese seafood? Sardines? So basically, we take the the, the sea, seafood and we add a bit of touch, Lebanese touch, like they mostly add a lot of coriander, a lot of lime juice, try to add a Lebanese twist. This uh, famous colorful street in uh, Tyre, for the locals, they call it the street of Christians. But that's just a local name. Yeah, lots of colors, right? So you got pinks, blues, reds, oranges. Beautiful sea rooms. Wow. Small beach. When we come here in summer, there's a bar behind us, and you can get on a kayak, go out to the sea, and you can see the ruins right below us. So like a lot of columns, right? You just left them there. Roman columns underneath the sea. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, the water is beautiful right now. It's nice, super clear, crystal blue. I'm sure it's really cold though right now, right? Yeah. It's winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, all the restaurants here are seafood restaurants, right? Most of them, yeah. We have a couple of Italian restaurants, for example. We have some hotels, we have some beach bars. Don't come here in the winter. Come here in the summer. You'll enjoy it more. Le Phoenician. Hello, hello. Thank you. Merci. So we're here at the Le Phoenician, right next to the port. Right here, you see all the fishermen. And we're going to eat right here some super fresh seafood. Okay, first of all, we have some raw fish, Abu Sin, calamari, fried calamari. We have some shrimps with coriander, garlic, and lime juice. All of these are local specialties. We have the batrach or the fish liver with a bit of spice, spicy sauce, and coriander and uh, lemon. And we have the tajin, which is a Lebanese meza made with fish, tahini sauce. And this is kibbe made from fish. No way. Yep. All right, first thing I'm going to try is the raw fish. <laughs> wow. With oil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the lime juice, dude. Yeah. Wow, nice chunks. Mmm. Mmm. Fish tartare, straight up. Oh, this is amazing. <gasps> So sucking it, so fresh. You can still taste the sea here. Mmm. Oh, perfect with the pepper. 
amazing. Oh. Usually this is one of the most famous fish we eat here raw. Mm. Mm. Too good. Mm. Mm. The oil, the pepper, the salt. That's you man. The fish liver. Okay. Mmm, that's hot. That's cold. It's hot. Mmm. Oh yeah, spicy. Mmm. Nice gravy. Mmm. Oh dude, nice and tender. Mmm. You have the zest? Then you have that like what is that? Just like pepper? Coriander. Mm, but it's hot. They put a lot of coriander. A lot. And spicy, spicy sauce. Wow. Nice and chunky. Spicy, delicious, chunky fish. I love this so much. I'm gonna get one more bite. First time having spicy fish. So good. Delicious. These plates? Bomb. Like it's a bomb. I'm gonna try the shrimp next. Shrimp, coriander, and lime juice. Mm hmm. Garlic. Mm. So fresh. Love the lime juice. Nice oil and coriander. Mm. Nice, super succulent shrimp. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Why it's so good. This reminds me of like a shrimp I've had in Spain with uh, just super, super light, super easy, right? All they do is add a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. This is some of the best seafood of my life. Mm. Super big calamari, fried calamari with garlic sauce. It's garlic sauce, but it's very creamy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dude, I can't stop today. We're not, fit, we're not leaving any of this. Yeah. Dude, I love the garlic sauce. It's not like overbearing though. It's just right. Mm hmm. Mm. I haven't eaten seafood anywhere else in Lebanon, but here, nothing like it. It probably is the best in Lebanon, huh? One thing left, right? Yep. The tajin. So, how do we do it? Just go in. Like that? Try the tajin first. Tajin first? Yep. Just let it scrub a little bit? Yep. Mm. So what is it? What, what do we have on top? Nuts? Fish, fish with some onions, nuts, and tahini sauce. Fish, onions, nuts, and tahini sauce. Yeah. Just try it alone, right? Yep. Hmm. Incredible fish dip. Yeah. Oh, amazing country. You can country. try it with the, with the fish kibbe. Together, right? Yeah. So that. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Fish kibbe. Mm. Whoa. Get that. Mm hmm. So good. So yummy. Mm. A little bit of that lime as well. So you get that. Cover it. Literally drench it into that. Wow. I didn't even know you could do kibbe with, with seafood. Or you could do a pumpkin meat with everything. I thought it was just meat, like minced meat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice onions. Mmm. He loves the raw fish. <laughs> Drench it. Oh, this food? Not leaving any of it. So good. Really fitting this one. My favorite right here, though. Mmm. Well, my friends, we ate everything, but I have to finish it off with this right here. Insanely good spicy fish kidney. Oh, mmm. Nice and oily. Nice zest. Nice lime. Mm. Today I'm not stopping. Today I'm enjoying this. Dude, calamari with garlic paste. Even better. It's around uh, 770,000, which is now, as of today, around $35. Merci. Merci. So good, so good. All right, let's go. Five minute walk later, we're in the car, and where are we going? To the to the ruins at the coast. Ruins of the coast? Yep. And then after that, we're gonna have a surprise, surprise. Yeah. Amazing, look at this. So there's basically a tour, right? Look at the, yeah, yeah, look at the guide on the motorcycle helping them. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So we drove like two minutes into town to the side where the ruins are. As you can see over here, bunch of ruins, lots of columns. 
and this is Tire World Heritage Site. So this is one, right? This is the one by the sea. The other one is Hippodrome. So to enter the Roman ruins, it costs uh, three thousand five hundred for Lebanese, non-Lebanese, six thousand. Okay, so basically it's ten thousand. Merci, merci. Here, there was a temple. That's why you see the columns. When you see such columns, it means there's a there's a temple. So this was the main, the main area for the for the rulers of the Roman Empire, and the hippodrome was just for fun. So here they had the temple. They had the port there to, to uh, for the ships to arrive and everything. We're gonna walk into them. So from here to get to Rome, it's just uh, you know going through the sea. That's it. Yeah. Direct passage to Rome. Oh, huge, massive columns. So all this was discovered in the 80s, right? 84 is when it became UNESCO. Yeah. Look at this beautiful mosaics. The heart mosaic. There we have a little bit more. We're gonna wait all the way to the end. And there we have more columns and we have the sea. Wow, man, great weather. Beautiful and not a soul here. We're the only people at this site right now. Nothing like going to Italy. Italy is just being packed in tourism. Woo! We have some old houses. You can see the roof only is gone. And here, these are, okay, so here, this is two, made of two parts. For here, they had a little stadium and it was built on top of houses so when we were excavating they found first the stadium then they excavated more they noticed that they had houses below it was it the, yeah, over the there? temple the sea temple they call it the sea temple incredible it was overlooking the sea so all those columns represent the temple yeah so it used to have a roof obviously that fell of course, of course. Of course. wow the temple and a small port next to it for the ships beautiful it's a part. huge site are they still yeah. excavating or this is it this no is no it's long. just done no. Perfect. Yeah, because you can see right here, these are all houses, right? So all those are like different rooms. Yeah. Small houses. Wow. Well, let's keep walking towards where the old temple was. Past all the ruins, you make it here to the Mediterranean Sea. Gorgeous. Look at that. Nice breeze. Really windy. Woo! Look at this, my friends. There is it. Look straight over there. You get to you get to get to Cyprus past that Greece and then you get to Rome Italy gorgeous day must visit when you come to Tyre you have to see these ruins here we can see a typical Roman bath you see that the small tunnels mm -hmm. they used they used to have a big combustion chamber where they used to uh, light wood and it would give up heat beneath this floor and people would sit on a on a on a sort of marble on top of these small pillars here they would sit and get the heated room then they would move to the colder room for an extra shower then they dry themselves and they leave this is how the big one here so that's the ancient roman baths right very similar to what we have today yeah. spa room sauna yeah so that's it right so we have this the houses the pillars the sea and that's it typical roman city exactly all right let's go yep one more spot yeah let's go let's try some more sweets <laughs> Last up today in Tyre is Albo Sali Sweets. Hello, hello. How are you? Very good, you? You fine? Yes, sir. Yes. Yo, good, good, very good. Thank you. Thank hello, hello. Welcome. How are you? How are you? Oh, wow, look at all the sweets. Lots of baklava. Incredible. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> look at the amount of sweets. There's so much. Okay, so what are we trying today? For you, for you taste. For me, I taste everything. Let's go, let's go. It's puff pastry inside milk cream. Yeah, milk cream. Milk cream, yeah, inside. And it's fr fried. Let's try this. It's a puff pastry. I mean, it looks like baklava Greek style. Basically. Yeah, it's like a bigger baklava, but with cream inside. All right. It's called shaibiye. It's very famous. Shaibiye. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm. Lots of layers. Pistachio and cream. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's amazing. Mm hmm. Wow. So good. Layer of cream. Nice and soft. Everything else on top. I mean, just never ending layers, right? And it's little dough, correct? Very yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna finish it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm full. That was awesome. Tire. You must visit. What did we do? Pepper John. Pepper John. We did incredible sandwiches. So good. Old town, seafood, temples. Now Swedes has everything. It has everything. It's a non-stop tour. I mean, we did this all like in less than five hours. Five, six hours. So easy day trip coming from Beirut. So a one hour drive south, come here, do everything we did. And that's it. Yep. Oh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in Lebanon.